package. I need something sweet. Oh, well, today's your lucky day. The ingredients for this recipe are golf balls, a tea bag, mustard, rice, a hot cross bun, washing up liquid, and paraffin. Well, there's only one thing we can make with these ingredients. Brownies! <laughs> and this is our head chef, Onions and Baguette! Bonjour, je m'appelle Onion and Baguette. Today, we will be making our brownies. They will be, how to say, excellent! And introducing our special guest, the Go Compare Man! Go Compare! Go Compare! Go be sure when you insure first, Go Compare! We pour the lice to the panel. Okay! Ready? Oh no! You tidy up! You tidy up! And for the extra flavor, a dash of mustard. No, no, mustard. Go compare, go compare. Go be sure when you insure first, go compare. Next, we will be adding the washing of liquid. Perfect. And of course, no dish would be complete without the go go juice. I can't wait. <laughs> oh no, no, ooh la la. I have been doing this a million times. I taught how to pedal to use the toilet, but it's still with in the go go juice. Now put the brownie mixture into the microwave. 20 minutes. Ah. Voila! Bon appetit! Smell! Smell the smells! If you had smell a vision right now, you would be overwhelmed. What? How did she do that? Oh, it's a mystery. And time for the taste test! <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. The best so far, at least. To the judges! Go compare, go compare. Go be sure when you insure first, go compare.
still had loads of fun. Scrabble for juniors.
It was 5th of December on a cold winter's morning. The unfortunate death of Freya Holly Pierce caused much derasement in the fellow community. But who was the murderer? It was the day after the death of Freya Holly Pierce. Detective Jeffrey came to interview his, her two younger sisters. Are you aware of the mysterious murder of your sister yesterday? You are? Your sister died yesterday at this very kitchen table. Isn't that what happened on TV? By the way, what does murder mean? What was the last thing you saw your sister doing before this mysterious death? Eating the cornflakes. It was the day after the death of the two younger sisters and two days after the death of Freya Holly Pierce. Detective Jeffrey came to interview Mrs. Higglebottom. Are you aware of the death of Freya Holly Pierce and her two younger sisters? Yes, well, there are rumours going around at Ringo Club. You can never trust those old ladies. What was the last thing you saw Freya Holly Pierce and the two younger sisters doing before their mysterious murders? Well, I was walking the dog and they were eating their cereal and behind them was a strange looking figure. It was the day after the death of Mrs. Hicklebottom, two days after the death of the two little girls, and three days after the death of Freya Holly Pierce. Detective Jeffrey came to interview the local shop owner. Hello, I don't usually get customers around here since that girls died. What can I do for you? Um, I'm here to ask if you sell any cornflakes. Yes, 50p a piece. I also have a free spoon with the cornflakes. Do you know anything about the girl Freya Holly Pears and her two younger sisters and Mrs Higglebottom? Yes, they are all regular customers of my cornflakes. Mmm, I see. Would you like to try some of your cornflakes? Yeah, why not? Ah!